So this is our Samsung French door refrigerator, and this is round two. We did some mods before, and it lasted a few years, but we're back to freezing up again, so a little bit more drastic, or maybe proper measures. A uh, good thing to do to start is, oh, I've already got it turned off. If you want to turn these things on and off, you can push and hold these two buttons, freezer and alarm. Okay, she's back on again, and then I'm going to shut it off because I don't want it dinging at me. Okay, so if you've gotten here and you've seen my other video and probably a bunch of other people's videos, you notice that the, you know that this all freezes up up here. And so uh, I did some mods before. It lasted a few years, like I said. Uh, now I'm going to put a separate heater around the top section. This is only 15 watts for a 120 volt system, and it's going to get tied into the brown wires of the other heater. But before you do any of this, you should make sure, I wrote this down, that your, your defrost heater uh, is, should be around 120 ohms if it's not. I mean, if it's 200 ohms, you're still fine. But if it's blown open, then you know that's no good. And also the temperature sensor should read about 10 to 12 uh, kilo ohms cold when you pull it out and then stick it in hot water. It should go down below 5K. If you've got those things working, then this is a good addition. This is a good addition anyways for this fridge. Um, if you've come here, obviously you're frustrated, and we've been at this for a few years. Uh, you can check before you unplug these things. Um, you can check for any... I might have to turn it back on again. Okay, so you can check for problems if it's going to report anything to you. And actually, I think at... Uh, what is it? A 25? Code 25? Uh, lets you know that um, you've got icing up. But in this case, the fridge is actually happy. And this happened a few, I don't know, about a week ago, something like that. So it's time for us now to fix this thing permanently. As a, it's been good up until now, but something else has changed. So there's your heater. I showed you that. I'm going to get this out of the way. I'm just going to show a couple little points. This is the heater, actually. The brand, well, I bought this one off of Amazon. But what you can order, this one's an EPSH201, but it's actually an original Supco SH201. These are an 18 inch, 15 watt, 120 volt. You can get the 13 as well. Some people buy the 13 and that's the SH205. Uh, and then you just tie wrap it to the, to the plumbing in there. So let's get this out of here. I just wanted to show you a couple tricks first. To get this last door off, there's a there's a button on the side. You'll just have to find it. It's not always easy, though. Okay, see how it dropped? Then we're good to take out. And then once you get here, it's pretty simple. And you screw down here. couple on the sides and there's one in here Oh, well, whatever. And, uh, and you could disconnect these guys. There's a catch release on the left side and the bottom. And there you go. Put set this. You can see it's already starting to ice up a touch in here. This is our trouble area. So. This cable, this heater is going to get wrapped around here in this section here. I'll leave a little bit for for the uh, the thermistor, the temperature sensor. Okay, that's good. Okay, so the heater, the extra heater has been installed. Can you zoom in? Uh, you can see that it starts here and it wraps around this plumbing here. This piping here, sorry, and the heat will end here. 
and I've moved the thermistor, the temperature sensor, to, to up here, away from the heat. And I just tapped into, I don't know if you can see, but I've tapped into the brown wires. If you do this with the power on, like what I did, pull these plugs. It, once again, there's a catch. You see? Pull them on both sides. So you're going to be tapping into the brown wires. I don't know if you can see over here. So here's the brown wire here, and I've got another tap. And you can see the gray wire that comes down and then comes back and starts here with the braided. The braided is the heater. Now, some of you will find it when you buy these things. They say, do not cut the wires. You can, come down here, you can cut the leads, okay? Because these ones are just, you know, they're very low ohms. This is the, this is the heater element here. Don't cut that. And um, so uh, turn the power off or at least pull both plugs just in case this fridge decides it wants to do something crazy. And, uh, and then I used, this is called a wire tap connector. I, oh, they're everywhere. These ones are 3M, but, um, you know, everybody sells them. And also I tie wrap them uh, just on either end. And if you look over here too, yeah, so I've just tie wrapped at either end. And I've stayed on the wire part of it, not the heater part. Because some of these tie wraps aren't really good with heat. Now the ones that I put on there are called military spec, but but if you if you're wrapping around technique like this, then you can you can just stay on to the wire part of it rather than the heating element part of it. And there you go. And that should when the system comes kicks on and heats up the main heater, which is this one here, it'll also put on this small coil as well. Uh, oh, one other thing. Um, you want to, when you buy these uh, wiretaps connectors, you need um, the ones that say from 18 gauge to 14, 14 to 18 gauge. And I found that if you look down here now, uh, these wires are really, really, really fat. So what I did, let me see if I've got a good one. Can you see that? Are we online? Okay, so uh, you can see that the the shielding sheathing is really, really fat, and they won't actually go into the little connector because it's it's only I think this I measured to be 17 gauge so it's still kind of small so what I did is I just took a standard house wire speaker wire and then you can um, you know just extract it you see that okay extract a little piece of plastic from it and then trim it right to the end and then insert that into the connector because that will center the wire and when you crush down on the crimp it'll it'll nail it dead center think there's anything else i should say don't forget to put the fridge back on again and uh oh and also this is kind of an update video but just in case anybody finds this first time it's a good idea to exchange uh, i don't know i don't have a part number on me right now but exchange the um this is the drain hole for it and it ices up so you get a longer tooth i just wrapped a hunk of um, copper wire around it and it seems to do the trick so i haven't replaced it but you can buy the other ones my other video has got the part number for that all right good luck with this fridge that's it